YouTube. I am back, child. Let me tell y'all something. It is beautiful out here on this beautiful day, New York City, 70 degrees. The sun is shining. I think it might drop to 40 degrees. Let's ask Jim Jones. Wait for him to do his weather update. Listen, I'm here to give y'all the tea on TikTok. Now, y'all know yesterday they passed the bill, right? They passed the bill over there on TikTok. They don't want no more TikTok because they feel like TikTok is dangerous. They take all your information. They stealing it, X, Y, and Z. But a lot of these apps, a lot of these apps do the same thing. But they saying that they stealing it, the Chinese people are stealing it and using your information. T Boo is doing that too. T Boo, T Boo is doing the same thing. Why y'all don't have a whole situation with T Boo though? Y'all just letting people download T Boo or recklessly getting all that cheap shit from Alibaba. Yeah, let's talk about it because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me give y'all a little story time about the government. Mm -hmm. Now, during the lockdown of C-19, there was a census. Census, you know, knocks on doors, and I never understood it, and I still don't understand it to this day, and this is why I didn't let them in when they knocked on my door. They knocked on doors to find out what's going on in the house, who lives here, the race background, how many kids you got, all this going on, all for they can put a park, a bus stop, a, 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 a school, a, a, a stop sign, and a traffic light, and, and all this, all for, they want to collect all your information so they can upgrade the community, so they say. Now, here's the thing about upgrading the community and all of that stuff. I'm with it. I am with it, right? But then I got to start asking questions. First of all, why y'all here during the C-19, we all on lockdown, why y'all came all the way through here to come all, and y'all didn't see how many, y'all didn't see what was going on in the neighborhood before y'all got to me? Oh, 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 so y'all, when y'all traveled through the neighborhood to get to me, you didn't know what was going on in the neighborhood? Listen, here's the thing, the story, of the, the moral of the story. You do not have to know who's in my house, my racial background, how many kids I got, how many rooms I got. You did not need to know all of that in order to build a stoplight, a school, a park, a gym, a library. Here's the thing about it. If you're going to build something, build it. And I found it funny because, you know, back in the day, they only knock one time. If you ain't home, they keep it pushing to the next house. These people during this time, C-19 time, while people was on lockdown, y'all chose to knock on doors two and three times. And I'm like, mm, that don't, that's weird. That, you know, I'll get weirded out quick. I start thinking with the other side of my brain that y'all be having, but y'all don't be using. So, yeah, I think with, and I'm like, why is they knocking on doors? during this critical moment in America. Not just, you know, New York City, the world craze, America. It's going to see everybody dropping like flies. But y'all wanna come and knock on doors and collect information about what's going on in my house? For y'all can build a library or a park or a school? Y'all already see what the neighborhood needed when y'all walk through here. So just do what you got to do. That's the way I figure it, right? Right. Now here we have TikTok, right? And I'm thinking in my head when they pass the bill, Joe Biden has said if they pass the bill and they come across my desk, we shutting down TikTok. He didn't say it in those words because him is, you know, and I'm me and he, him, and that's us. That's it. He didn't say it like that, but I'm saying it like that. But he said him was going to sign the bill. So I'm thinking into my other side of my brain, right? Because now it's like, y'all been stealing our information for decades. Y'all want to know everything about us when we sign up for a program or when we go do our income taxes. Y'all get all this information there. Right? So... When we download these apps that want to ask us for our personal, like, what's up app? Why do I need to give you all of my contact information? 
Keisha, for you can let the whole free world know that I got what's up at. No, I don't need to let everybody know. I need to connect with who I need to connect to on what's up at and go. I don't want the world to know I got what's up at. Timu, Timu, they had these whole stories going out for a minute about Timu. I just seen an ad about Timu stealing your private information in your phones and this and this and that and the third. But we, we not passing along on Timu, even though they've been on the news and things just to like the little tickety talk. But here's the thing about it. That y'all need to keep your eye open. And I told my daughter I was going to jump on the TikTok wave. I said, because the wave is going to come to an end. And she said, Mommy, why would you say such a thing? I said, because y'all over there making too much money. You really think they want y'alls over there on that app that China built over there making all of that money? You got YouTubers over there. You got Instagrammers Instagramming over there. You got reality stars over there. You got all the people telling on everybody's business over there. You got people talking about the government over there. Aha. Let's talk about that. They telling y'all everything over there. And they making money while they doing it. And y'all thought that this wasn't going to come to an end? How could y'all not think it was going to come to an end? First of all, y'all over there telling y'all business, y'all everybody's business. I don't think that would have been a problem for them. But y'all making money. Small businesses rely on TikTok. Big businesses rely on TikTok. A lot of businesses rely on the tickety talk over there. And the point is, y'all, too many small people, minorities, are making money over there. So that means they making money in their small businesses, right? They putting a spotlight on their small businesses, which is making money too, right? Right. Then on the back end, Y'all making money off of this? Y'all over there telling everybody business who got done and this and that and Tupac was alive and Biggie Smalls did this. Y'all just talking too much. Oh, and it had an earthquake over there and them Canada fires is fake. Y'all was talking too much. But, like I said, not necessarily the talking. That's a part of it. Small part. But the money that's being made on the tickety talk is a problem. They want y'all to be broke. C-19 proved that. See, let me tell you why I said C-19 proved that. And I'm going to get into it really deeper in another video that I got coming up. Oh yeah, it's a YouTube day for today. But I'm going to tell y'all why they want y'all to be broke. Because the C-19 proved to me that they wanted y'all to be broke. Here's the reason why I knew that they wanted all of y'all to be broke. They didn't want y'all to come up like y'all coming up over there. You crazy? Y'all over there bragging about it. Oh, because I made the that, the that, that. That's your problem. You talk too much. They fired all the nurses and whatever staff didn't want to take the boom bow vaccine for the little night thing. They fired all of them people. And then, and then a couple of years later, right, they came back on y'all. Meanwhile, I'm going to ask y'all one question in this video right now. Where Dr. Fauci? Right, he just up and disappeared. <laughs> I mean, where did he go? Where did he go? He was there through the whole process of the 19, but now that the 19 is over and now that they saying that y'all don't even got to worry about the 19. Oh, it's all right just to go outside and do 
what you gotta do? Just take some medicine for the 19. You don't even gotta come to the hospital because the 19 is like a regular flu. Didn't I tell y'all that? Go listen to some of my earlier video. I had, had told y'all that. And I had told y'all not to put that shit in your system because I had told y'all that they gonna come back after they don't fight all y'all for that. And it was a movement. Oh, we firing all the nurses and all the nursing staff and all of this and all the people them. And now this, the hospitals are short staffed. You can't work if you don't have this shot and that shot. But I'm going to get into that in a later video because i got something for that. But let's go back and talk about the tickety-tock. They told y'all, they may want y'all to be broke when the C-19 runs around and they fired all those people. Played in y'all faces. They played in y'all faces. Now they want to take away the app that's making everybody money besides you two. This is one of the apps that's making everybody money besides YouTube, right? Let's talk about it. I'm just going to sip my coffee out my mug that I made. If you want anything from Even Things, go over there to my IG. It's in my bio. Listen, Even Things is moving. It's not even a game. Go to IG, hit my DM. See what y'all want. I got sneakers. I'm working on fanny packs right now. Makeup brushes, sun visors, all types of sippy cups and all type of things is over there. Even the baby baskets. I even do those. Listen, I'm getting right to it. And I didn't even need TikTok to do it because that's what my daughter said. You should promote your business on the tickety top. And I told her, China over there is still now information. Don't you think that we got enough people in our business? That's what I had said to her. That's what I had said. That's what I said. And she said, like she's saying right now in the background, Mom, Mom, shush. That's what she said. I got the tickety tock. So if, listen, listen, we both don't have the, we don't need to both have the tickety tock mm -hmm. to, 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 to promote the business. Being that you had already downloaded it with your little fast behind, won't you promote the business and we do it like that? We both don't need our information all over the place like that. We making money over there. Look, they making money over there. That's your problem right there. You're telling everybody you're making the money. And that's why the government want to shut down the tickety tock. They want really the tickety tock for themselves. So, with that being said, the creator of the tickety tock, clap back, he sure did. Him, him had something to say, and here you go. We, from outside manipulation, we have committed that we will continue to do so. This legislation if signed into law, will lead to a ban of TikTok in the United States. Even the bill sponsors admit that that's their goal. This bill gives more power to a handful of other social media companies. It will also take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. It will put more than 300,000 American jobs at risk, and it will take away your TikTok. We know how important TikTok is to all of you. It has given our 170 million users a platform to freely express themselves and has empowered more than 7 million businesses in the United States. Our platform matters to the small business owners who rely on TikTok to make ends meet, to the teachers who inspire millions of students to learn, and to everyone who discovers and finds joy on TikTok. We will not stop fighting and advocating for you. We will continue to do all we can, including exercising our legal rights to protect this amazing platform that we have built with you. We believe we can overcome this together. I encourage you to keep sharing your stories. Share them with your friends. Share them with your family. Share them with your senators. Protect your constitutional rights. Make your voices heard. Love you all. For the last few years, we have tested to keep your data safe and our platform free from outside manipulation. We have committed that we will continue to so this legislation is signed into law will lead to a ban of TikTok in the United States.
United States. Even the bill sponsors admit that that's their goal. This bill gives more power to a handful of other social media companies. It will also take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. It will put more than 300,000 American jobs at risk, and it will take away your TikTok. We know how important TikTok is to all of you. It has given our 170 million users a platform to freely express themselves and has empowered more than 7 million businesses in the United States. Our platform matters to the small business owners who rely on TikTok to make ends meet, to the teachers who inspire millions of students to learn, and to everyone who discovers and finds joy on TikTok. We will not stop fighting and advocating for you. We will continue to do all we can, including exercising our legal rights to protect this amazing platform that we have built with you. We believe we can overcome this together. I encourage you to keep sharing your stories. Share them with your friends. Share them with your family. Share them with your senators. Protect your constitutional rights. Make your voices heard. Love you all. Now, I'm going to take it back to just last week when um, Facebook and Instagram had a whole interruption for like, what, a half a day? And it was a whole glitch and the whole shit went down for like at least a couple of hours throughout the day. I'm going to take it there one more time. One more time. Remember when, what was that? AT&T or one of them? Verizon, one of them telephone companies was down. Y'all wasn't able to use your iPhones. I know that. I know that. And you know what I said with my little Android? I said, mm, ain't that something over there? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. But definitely when the, um, Facebook was down, Facebook was down and they was asking people to, to, to put in new passwords and all of that. And don't that require information? Mm. Who that under? Mark? Mm hmm Zuckerberg? Mm hmm Did y'all ask him to, to you know, take, is y'all gonna take his app away from him? Yeah, because see, here's the thing about it. To me, his two apps, Facebook meaning one of them, be having people take, they take your profile and use it and break into it and all types of stuff. And do y'all ask them to take down their app? Or y'all trying to take down Facebook? So I'm with him when he says that. Y'all not trying to take Facebook down, but y'all trying to take this one app in particular. And that's because people make more money over there on the TikTok, baby. They make more money on TikTok, and it is what it is. They make a lot of money over here. A lot of people downloaded TikTok. Y'all not doing that to Timu. And Timu, they taking y'all information left and right. It's been on the news. It's been on the news. I've seen broadcasts about Timu. But y'all not taking they app. Y'all not taking they app to court and trying to take it and do whatever y'all want to do with it. But I just find it funny, y'all, that they trying to take TikTok from y'all, especially the ones that use it, for their businesses, business purposes. So I don't get it. I do not get it. And at the end of the day, he's right. Why we can't download what we want to download, but y'all forcing apps down our throat and doing what y'all want to do. Here go America, always trying to run something, always in somebody's business. And, and, remember when they was going through that whole situation with the war and and, and and they didn't really want y'all to see what was going on over there overseas. They took that right off the little tickety talk Because they didn't want y'all to, to know what was going on. Because the news was only putting out what they wanted to put out, y'all. Remember that? They have had enough with TikTok. TikTok is too informative. Okay? TikTok is too free. Free of speech. Free of whatever y'all want to say over there. And y'all doing too much. And y'all making too much money over there. So, of course, the little tickety-tock don't want y'all to tick or talk. They don't want y'all to cash in on that. Why should y'all? Why should y'all be able to cash in on the little tickety-tock? They don't like it. 
They don't like the fact that y'all want to do that. And at the end of the day, they try to take it from y'all. And they try to make it seem like, oh, it's about information. They share information. Uh, Mark, uh, allegedly, that's what they said Mark was doing. That on the little Instagram and the Facebook. That's what they said he was over there doing. Sharing information. Okay? Why well, him have to go over there and sit down with government officials and things of that nature a couple of years ago? Allegedly. All oh, this is alleged. Don't listen to me. I'm just saying I just speak with my other side of the brain that be working and y'all don't. I need y'all to think real good. Think about it. Why do they want TikTok to really be shut down? Too informative. Too free of speech. All that Monday over there, people over there making, they don't want y'all to be, they want y'all to be dead broke. They want y'all to be broke back mountain over there, okay? They don't want y'all to have all this money because with money, then they, you can get resources. And they don't want y'all to have that. Then they don't want y'all to buy no homes. They don't want y'all to feed y'all families. They don't want y'all to do none of that, okay? Don't you see all these stores and things are closing? I can go down this rabbit hole, but hey, today is this Thursday. By the time I come out, it'll be Sunday, okay? That's how deep this rabbit hole goes. So I need y'all to think of why they don't want y'all to have TikTok. Because this is what it all boils down to. This is what it all boils down to. Y'all too free over there making that money and we don't like it. And this, I, I, I believe, this is their way of fleeing y'all and controlling things like they always try to. And at the end of the day, y'all hurried up and passed that good old bill. Of course you did, the government. Of course y'all did. Of course he's ready to sign on the dotted line. And black people sitting up here waiting for some goddamn reparations. He ain't signing a bill for that. He ain't signing a bill for racism. No, no, no. But we gonna sign a bill to get the old ticket and talk away from the people. Oh, yeah. Think about it. Y'all got it. My name is Eve the Weed. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit me in the comments because I reside there. Later. Here's the reason why TikTok is getting banned. Let me explain why. Who's the founder of this? What did he find? He is the one who started, built everything for this company right here. Now worth trillions of dollars. And who is the richest person on the planet? It is this man right here. You know who is the number one enemy for this company? TikTok. TikTok launched their TikTok shop. It is going insane. Things are cheaper on TikTok. Within two clicks, you will get your product. And there is no membership fees or anything like that. And real people are getting real commissions. And for business. If you post your product on TikTok, and if it goes viral, you instantly became a millionaire. And this guy right here, the rumor is, he's pushing out so much money to either side of this thing gets shut down. Because sales on this app is kind of going down. And everything on this app is slowly going up. For example, prices on Amazon versus prices on TikTok. Plus, free shipping, you guys. This guy don't like it. The stock is going in, and Walmart is going against them and now through online and social media tiktok is beating them he don't like it he's pumping out money selling it all and he's number one and guess what else and this guy too monthly users or basically daily day users or facebook and instagram have slowly tanked and he's saying it's because of tiktok so he wants it out he wants it out even views and search ratio on google and youtube slowly stop as well because instead of watching a five minute video of how to do something on youtube you can literally learn it within one minute on tiktok you get what i'm saying but these are all things that i see on twitter and that i have also seen on this platform and even on reels when i thought about it everything made sense and now you guys know as well hit the follow and like for more updates and that's exactly what i'm talking about y'all that's exactly what I'm talking about. I have to throw that video in there. That's from at Normously Loud. 
And y'all can go to their podcast at Normously Loud Podcast on Instagram. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all, they don't want them to... It's a lot of people that's going up against the tickety top, okay? Which means y'all going up against China. So now that means we have to all gang together. We got to form up like Voltron because we don't want them to take our American dollars and give them people a platform and money and this and this and that. It's all our money. It's a money's game. And they don't feel like they want to share. And I'm just saying, y'all better get with the program. I had to throw this video in there to end my video. But like I said, YouTube, I'm coming back with another one later.